I'm Becky Norwood. I'm the author of the book, The Woman I Love. The topic matter is one that in general is kept hush hush, not only in society, but by the victims. You see, when you are a victim of sexual abuse, emotional abuse, physical abuse, no matter when it happens, but more likely as a child, we often don't speak up. For many of us, we never do. I truly suspect there are many who have gone to their grave with this deep, dark secret. It's a secret that is kept out of horrible fear of dire things like death, not only to yourself, but to your siblings and other family members. Now, while the statistics are hideous regarding such abuse, it is impossible to know the fullness of such an epidemic in our world, not just to girls, but to boys too. The impact that of this has such a huge story and why so many in adulthood are broken. So imagine, if you will, a little girl of four, she's circling the dinner table as she just said it for as one of her family chores, she's waiting for her father to come in from work. The little girl is chanting, I will not cry, I will not cry, I will not cry, endlessly. The moment he walks to the door, she cries. He hates it, and it ends in meetings. She didn't want this to happen, so she not want not one or another one of those beatings. So she kept chanting this over and over again. But the moment he walked to that door, cry she did. And the hurtful beatings came swiftly. That evening, as the chores were completed, she and her brother went out to play in the yard. She decided she didn't want it anymore. She was tired of those beatings. So she slipped out the gate and walked. And then she ran. Running was her specialty. She did a lot of running. Only this time, she wanted to get far away from the pain and never, never come back. Now, this was on the streets of L.A. And although this is some 56 years later, I am sure that even though this is not, even then it was not a place for a little girl to be. She's 15 blocks away from home, scared beyond belief. Standing on the street corner, doing what? Crying. Crying because she had no clue what to do, nor where to go. Quite thankfully, this lovely older couple out for their evening stroll were kind enough to stop and question her. They insisted on taking her home. A little girl was me. And I'm certain that they had not an idea in the world what they were taking me back to. I have a grandson at age four, and, all the, and I would shudder at the thought of him being on the streets of even the small community I now live in. But still, I call those people my angels. I wonder if I would be alive today to tell the story. But that night changed my world in profound ways. I was beating, beaten all night long. Every time I stopped crying, I was beaten again until my father had to go to work the next morning. From that moment on, I was determined to please. Anything but those beatings, please. Constantly told I was ugly, I was stupid, I would never, never make it in this world. I worked so hard to get approval. Sadly, the sexual abuse that I experienced was when I received the approval and the validation that I so craved. It was when I received the kind words, the praise, and you know that abuse lasted well into adulthood. The repercussions of my child abuse have colored my world and the very fiber of my being for way too long. Throughout the years I sought healing. I tried many different methods to get relief. Many helped. Not always lasting, but they helped. But my biggest issue was depression. That depression that aches so deeply that there were times I contemplated, never attempted, but contemplated suicide. I had extremely low self-esteem. I had a feeling that I would never, never, never be good enough. Have you ever experienced those debilitating issues? Have they affected you or possibly a loved one? Low self-esteem, suicidal tendencies, depression. Ooh, 
was so painful. However, we do not need to stay there. There is a way out. Self-destructive tendencies are a major is issue with them, abuse survivors. And while I worked very hard to stay on top of it, it always seemed to be a struggle, a struggle that was exhausting and discouraging because all I wanted was to feel whole and happy and joyful in life. Finally, at age 60, I have found the courage to tell my story. I had the name of my book for five, five long years. I haven't had the name of my website for all those years. And even though my current profession, ironically, is helping others to tell their stories and self-publish their books, I had never led by example. And my story, and told my story, with the encouragement of a really dear friend of mine, I finally made that leap. A leap that has transformed my life and brought me joy and healing. Not fleeting joy, it's a consistent flow of joy, of purpose and well-being. And that's why I bring you my story today. The story is called The Woman I Love, Surviving, Healing and Thriving After a Childhood of Sexual, Emotional and Physical Abuse. While this book is a memoir, and a light showcase on my life struggles. I also include my own perspective on healing. In this book, there's many quotes, people who are truly experts in this field, as well as resources if you're now facing these issues and need assistance. It's my deepest desire that those who read my story will find deep in their hearts a hope, a newfound determination, to find not just healing, but even deeper, but to begin to thrive in their own lives. Know you're not alone. Know that there are many, many others of us out there that are finding their way and also sharing our stories. I believe in the healing power of story, of sharing a message of forgiveness, of self-love, and inner peace. I'm at last the woman that I love. Is it time for you to love yourself and heal from the crushing effects of abuse? Are you the woman you love? For that matter, are you the man that you love? Is it time to release yourself to a happiness and a well-being that feels more like thriving? I invite you to purchase my book and as a gift either for yourself or for your loved one who suffers. And then as a gift for all who purchase my book and send a copy of your receipt to the email address on the screen, you will receive a free gift, which is a, the Woman I Love journal created in conjunction with this book. It is my sincere desire that this has found a way to your heart and will bring you peace. Thank you.